All right, everybody, very excited to bring in former Heisman winner, national champion, currently running for the Senate in the state of Georgia, Mr. Herschel Walker. Herschel, it's always an honor to have you, my friend. It's great hey, to see thank you. Thank you, guys. Yes, sir. Thank you, guys. Thank yeah. you all for having me on. Now we got sure. you in person. Yes. Now we got yep. you in person. And I well. see we got a jersey here, too. Jersey, Look at yes, that. Sir. Yeah, and are y'all not taking it down when I leave? Nope. No. Nope. Nope. Okay. Nope. We're going to get all in there, actually. I got it. Yeah. That's yeah. exactly right. Well, you know, Herschel, I want to start, and, and we talk about, you know, on this show, there are some times where politics and sports do intersect, where you do have to, to opine on it. And there's something going on right now with Joe Kennedy, you know, the high school coach, that it's going to the Supreme Court, whether he could pray by himself yes. after the game, by himself, not even bringing anybody with him, by himself, yes. but yet you can have no problem with kneeing and not going up for the national anthem yes. and, and just your overall view on on how we got here and and how do we stop this because it's it's madness yes. is really what it is you know it, it, it's funny because I think people now has totally lost their mind because you know you have the right to your own religion mm -hmm. and he was by himself and what was so unique and I think what was so special is people came wanting to pray with him yep. Yep. and you know people should be able to pray and it doesn't matter what religion you are you're in the United States of America mm -hmm. I mean you can practice whatever religion you want Someone that want to pray by themselves with what's going on in this country, people ought to celebrate that. Yeah. Because we need to pray for this country and not just pray as one, but pray as many. And with guys coming up to pray, I, I can't believe that they're even making a bigger issue about something like that. I remember in school, we used to always have prayer and be able to say the Pledge of Allegiance. Mm -hmm. And right now they've taken that out. And I think this wokeness has been, been able to do the wrong thing for this country. Yeah. And uh, that's one reason I decided I'm going to jump and throw my head in the ring and run for that Senate. Yeah. Definitely. And you, and you hit the ground running, pun, no, yes. pun intended. I know you guys are doing a great job over there. Everything looks great, the, the ads and all that stuff. But, you know, Herschel, I ask myself, because, uh, again, we talk about inclusion and being fine with everybody. If a, if a person who practiced Islam went out there and prayed by themselves, do you think it'd be going to the Supreme Court right now? No, it wouldn't. Not a chance. And, they, and they would not say anything about it. They would say it was okay. But I said, that's what is happening right now is uh, they're trying to take the, and I said, you know, Christian, being a Christian, when you were a Christian, it was okay years ago, but today being a Christian, it seemed to be something that's awful, but yeah. yet any other religion is acceptable. Mm -hmm. And I said, all they're trying to do now is really break down the American fabric that this country was built on. But I said, do not let them do it. We have to continue to fight back for those rights, for those freedoms. So you're not just fighting for him to pray by alone, but you're fighting for everyone to be able to pray alone. And if that's what they want to do, but we cannot continue to live like this where they want to just take those freedoms away when it's written in the Constitution. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's written in the Constitution. He was not doing anything wrong by kneeling down to pray. And, you know, you want to pray for someone that may have been injured or pray for another team because... Whenever I went out to play, I never prayed that God is going to help me go out and play well. I played that he'll let me do the best that I can do, but I also played that the other team do well as well. Mm -hmm. You know, sure. it's not that I'm out there just looking out for myself, but I want to look out for everyone and stuff. And I, I think that's the problem we have is right now it's not about that. It becomes so political and everything. And I think you got to take that, first of all, away from sports. Yeah, I, I think that's that, First of all, I think it's just got to be taken away from sports. And then when you – Tell someone they can't pray, uh, I think that's terrible. Yeah, well, I always find it, it's it's always funny to me and somewhat ironic that the people who scream the most about inclusivity and scream the most about people being judgmental tend to be the most non-inclusive and judgmental mm -hmm. people that they are, and we see that a lot in today's media. Yeah, well, as someone from Statesboro, Georgia, first yeah. of all, I have to say thank you for running. Uh, the, state, the state needs yeah. you over there. Well, don't thank me. That's something I should be doing. Yes, sir. You know, I've been blessed uh, my whole life, and I said, guys, I found that America's dream. You know, the Statesboro, Georgia, and Wrightsville, there's nothing in Wrightsville. <laughs> and I've come up where I've been able to travel all over the world. I've been able to see so many things, and because God has done so much for me, I got to reach back and help other people. Mm -hmm. And if I, this had to be me running for this Senate seat, I got to do it because I answer to someone far greater than a human being. Yeah. And that's what I got to do. Well, you're in a unique position in that you're one of the greatest football players of all time, but you're also running for office. And, you know, when you suit up and you put on the pads, half the people watching you hate you. Half of them love you because you're playing for their team. And in politics, whenever you put a little a letter, either whether Republican or Democrat, half the people love you, half the people hate you. So sports or politics, what have you found to be the most ruthless? You know, I, I think politics is very ruthless in the sense that, you know, in sports, you get to go out and they may dislike you, but after the game, they cheer for you. Sure. You shake hands with them and you go your ways. 
and politics is almost like knives in your back. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I think that's what's so bad. And But, you know, what I say is so strange is we all live in the United States of America. So if you live here, you sure want what's best for this country. It doesn't matter whether you're a Republican or a Democrat. You sure exactly. want what's best for this country. But how you go about getting it is a way. But you don't sure want to be upset with someone if they want what's best for this country. You should sit down and be able to talk with them and without being angry, without yeah. them being upset. And that's why I say that I want to run because I believe in bringing people together. I believe in, you know, I'm a Christian. I love the Lord Jesus, but I'm not going to be mad at someone because they are some other religion. I love to talk and learn about his religion, learn about where he's from and learn about him. But, you know, I'm still going to have my own faith. And that's like uh, what we've come to now is we, we've got about our freedoms that we have. People that have died, sacrificed the ultimate sacrifice with their lives, that have died to give us those freedom. But we have the voices of so few yeah. trying to destroy it. And I, and I say this, and people sometimes get mad at me, is if they know another place better than the United States of America, first of all, tell me where it's <laughs> <laughs> But second of all, why don't you go there? Yeah. Exactly. Because there are so many people love this country. We've come so far, and we're taking steps backwards now. We're taking so many steps backwards now. I mean, you can't pray on the field. You don't even pray in the school. You can't say the Pledge of Allegiance. Yeah. Yeah. And you're like, wait a minute, guys, we're taking a huge step back. When we come so far, 10 years before I got to the University of Georgia, the first black players played at the University of Georgia, 10 years before I got there. And now 10 years after what, or 12 years after what, I win a Heisman Trophy black man, win a Heisman Trophy at the University of Georgia. Today, there's probably more African-Americans on the University of Georgia than are white. Yeah. So that showed that there is progress being made in this country. Got nothing to do with color. So I said the progress is being made. Where progress is being made, we shouldn't sit here and now try to take it back like something is wrong. Yeah. And I think, and we're the most inclusive country in the world. Yeah. We, we're it's, the most it's inclusive country in the world, and yet people are complaining. And I said, guys, as my father said, you know, if there's something better and you think of it, tell me or you go. Because that's what's so great about America. We don't hold you here. Yeah. yeah. If you want to leave, you leave. Yeah. And you know, and my thing, if you want to leave. You lose your citizenship for America. Lose your citizenship. You go be whatever you want in that country. Now, when you come back, come back legally. Yeah. You come back sure, legally because yeah. I think when you find that you will find out that this is the greatest country in the world right here. Do you think we're spoiled? That's the reason. Oh, we are. We're, we're spoiled very spoiled. spoiled. But and we got to blame. I'm going to blame myself, too, because you want what's best for your child. Yeah. Yep. So sometimes you let them know everybody get a trophy. Everybody get a trophy. Well, no, everybody do not get a trophy. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You have to work. And I think we got too spoiled in the sense that we got to the point that we didn't appreciate things that we should have appreciated. You know, I remember uh, my mom made me go to church. I didn't want to go to church on Sunday. You know, when we went to church, we went to church. Yes, sir. You go at 9 o'clock, you don't get out to 4. Yeah. You know, and I'm like, no, nah, that's enough of church, mom. <laughs> like, no, you're going. We went to church. We learned about Jesus. We learned how to be respectful. We learned all those things. And all of a sudden, when our kid grew up, we start negotiating whether they're going to go or not. Mm-hmm. We didn't say, no, you're going. Or my father told me, no, he meant no. And, you know, we start making that everybody make a million dollars tomorrow. Well, it doesn't work like that. You know, you have to build your way up. And I think the greatest thing that I used to say is everybody want to get to the destination, but no one want to travel the journey. Exactly. journey right. yeah. And the journey is what you appreciate and how you sustain being at the destination. And I think that's the problem. We became spoiled because of all the great freedom we had. Mm-hmm. And now we see that those, those freedoms and liberty that we had is in jeopardy right now. With what's going on, it's in jeopardy. And I think we got to wake up. And I want us to wake up before it's too late. Yes, sir. Right. yes sir. Well, I, of course, since I got you, I got to ask you an MMA question. Yes. <laughs> you know, you're 3-0, and yeah. undefeated in MMA. Not a surprise there. One of my favorite quotes is from Mike Tyson. All right? yes. Everybody has a game plan until you get in the ring and you get hit in the face. Yes. Was there ever a time in those three fights Maybe you caught a punch or got touched up a little bit to where it was hard to stick to your game plan for the rest of the fight? Uh, you know, you, you really don't stick to your game plan when you get into the fight because you saw it. I think you go back to what you have been trained to do, but you go into that, to the fight thinking you're going to have a game plan, but you're 100% correct, but that guy has a game plan as well. So now you go back to the skills that they taught you because, you know, I trained with some of the best fighters in the world. You know, with Kane Velasquez, God bless Kane, and Daniel Kwame and Luke Rockhold. I trained with those guys. And I said, I'm training with some of the best. 
But when I was walking down to get into that cage, I started thinking, wait a minute, this is a fight. <laughs> no, yeah. this is with in the fight. Yeah. You're not to hit me in the face. Yeah. And uh, and you they close that, that cage door and you look across the, the cage and you see that guy over there and he like looking all buff. <laughs> Whoa, what's going on yeah. here? Yeah, you uh, look the same imagine way, what well, I know that, 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 that what you think about it, you go, man, he finna hit me and then you all of a sudden something just happened and go, well, I'll be your hunkerberry, let's go. Yeah, <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, you go back to your training that you get, you know, you know what, this is this is what it's about. I said, and I tell you, I absolutely love that sport. Mm-hmm. I, I absolutely love MMA. I, I, you know, you told, and, I, and my hat is off to those guys. You talk people that sacrifice. <sighs> Let me tell you what, the training you have to go through, and I, and I tell people, if you're going to be a fighter, you better dedicate your life to being a fighter. You can't be a fighter part-time. Mm-hmm. I can tell you that yeah. right now. You better be training all the time because most of those guys that are good train all the time, and, and I absolutely love this sport. And, uh, and my head is off to them. Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah, yeah I, I do, I do. obviously, I gotta ask you a Georgia question, or our audience yes. is gonna kill me. Uh-oh, you know, uh-oh. I'm in here. <laughs> yes. Win the national championship last year. Great feeling, partying like it's back when you were in school, when y'all yes. won it. Just Georgia repeat this year. How are you feeling? It's gonna be tough. Uh, it's gonna be tough whenever you're the champion to come back and redo it. It's gonna be very hard. Alabama's good. They're, Alabama's they're my pick. Really loaded. I'm not and lie. and they're they're upset. Alabama's upset. But I tell you, Georgia got a team, and I think because they had a taste of victory once, they know how to win now. So it ain't gonna be as easy for Alabama as everyone think it's gonna be. But I have no doubt Alabama with the people they had coming back, they got a good team. I think Georgia got a very very good chance of repeating. You know, I, I'm not going to tell you let's bet on it. Because yeah. <laughs> my mom said don't bet on anything there they eat, go. so don't bet yeah, on Yeah, well, don't look like back that. there. Your mom's not yeah, eating. Yeah, yeah, exactly right. Right. Cover, like cover that up. Cover That's that exactly up. right. But, uh, That's just numbers I, I, I do feel that Georgia got a very good chance of repeating, but it's going to be tough. But and, but one thing they got to remember, you got to play the game. Yes, yeah, sir. What you did last year is over. It's very true. You got to get out and play the game. And I can tell you right now, Alabama ain't too happy. No. Yeah. And, and Bryce Young and Will Anderson's going to have something to say about it. Yeah, they're not too about. happy right now. So it's going to be it's going to be a good season because you know we're we're talking about Jordan and Alabama. Texas A and M going to be good. You oh, yeah. ooh, okay? You Texas you feeling Texas A and M a little bit? I think Texas A and M going to have a good team. Texas A and M going to have a very good team, and I think Ohio State going to come back out with a good uh, team. I think Ohio State plays Alabama in the yeah. Natty. That's what oh, I don't know about all of that. That's what you I think you get lost. Yeah, it hurts. I'm sorry. Uh, yeah. I'm just. I mean, again, uh, they yeah. may have the two best offensive players in the country when you look at C.J. Stroud and the and the and the wide receiver they have, Jackson Smith and Jigba. So yeah. Why, you know, I don't want to get Herschel in trouble and talk bad about the Falcons, but I really wish the Falcons wouldn't have got Mariota so they could tank even easier to be able well, to. Well, don't do Don't talk about the Falcons. <laughs> <laughs> hey, me being in Atlanta, I yeah, like I know. The that's exactly stuff. right. That's yeah. exactly right. But, yeah. That's me. That's that's yeah, Jake. That's Jake. Yeah, yeah. That's Jake. Big Braves fan, though. Yeah. Huge um, back to the Bulldogs, though. Even if they don't repeat this year, you have to be excited because it feels like Kirby is just just beginning right now. You know, right. I mean, yeah. Al- everything that uh, Nick Saban's been able to do at Alabama, yeah. like he, he's not. We keep Keep saying he's not going to coach forever. Maybe yes. he will, but it does seem like Kirby Smart is just at the beginning of a dynasty. Well, he is, and you think about it because everything is about recruiting, and I think uh, and I and I tell you whatever it is, I think that's that's I don't understand all the pay and the, all that stuff, but I think right now Kirby was doing an incredible, incredible job in recruiting, and that's what you got to be able to do is recruit and recruiting within the state. And I tell people this all the time: it has nothing to do with Georgia. But when I was in uh, Texas or when I was in California, I said, guys, recruiting, recruiting kids within your state, you may recruit a third-star player, but that third-star player would end up being a five-star because his family come and support him. Yep. And he want to show off in front of his boys. Yeah. He want to show off in front of his family. Where he recruits somebody from out of the state, he don't get the support that those other kids get. So he may play just as you recruited him, a four-star. But I said, sometimes stay with some within those kids within your state and recruit those kids because they're, they're going to play better. They're going to want to play in front of their families, and I think that means a great deal. Well, yeah. a, without, a without a doubt, I always say, you know, again, what was the worst part about playing is knowing when you screwed up in the game, having to go watch film with all your friends oh, the next yep, day yeah. and you hit one of these, you know, in the film room. Hey, when your boys come from out of town and from your hometown, say, oh, he's totally screwed up. That yeah, that's exactly <laughs> right. That's, that's exactly right. But, Herschel, it's always an honor to talk to you, my friend. Thanks so much. 
uh, for stopping by. Obviously, we got all the Georgia swag in here and love to get you back on again. Yeah. And appreciate yeah. everything well, you're doing. Thank you so much. Now, you can't be moving this, this swag when I leave. You know? Oh, no, no. It's safe. Just sign it. Yeah, that is it right there. there. That's exactly yeah, see, right. I like that. Let's yes, get sir. some of this other stuff out of here. Uh, oh, I, I got a little. I know you know you don't want to look yeah. back there. Not yeah. this one, though, right? Like, oh, yeah. wow. Why do you keep have up, that up? I, I will say, Herschel, I think you'll feel for me on this. Yes. So I just got engaged about, I got to get this right, four months ago. Yeah. We'll see. I'm from Auburn. Everyone she's, make mistakes. She's you from know Tuscaloosa. She's yes. from Tuscaloosa. Yes. How do you feel about that? Do you think well, it's going to work I, out? Or I, I, I think that will work out because she's going to help you to be better. Okay. And stuff because people from Auburn, uh, you have to help them. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, Herschel. Yeah, yeah. Herschel. Oh, I like it. Oh, look, yeah. I love it. Look, I, I look, took a shot at the I'm Falcons. Gonna have her. I'm, I'm not going to do anything about yeah. you. Yeah, 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 absolutely. Blaine wants to hop in the ring with No, he doesn't. No, I know. I promise you. I don't want to go to a funeral. Yeah. Please, no. That's what I'm saying. But again, thank you so much for stopping by. Thank you, guys. I'll tell you what. God bless you guys. God bless you, you, sir. Absolutely. Yes, sir. Well, I appreciate it, man. Thank you so much. You guys are welcome, man. All right.